Morning Prayer on Saturday, the 23rd of October. The readings are taken from the Finan series of readings for July in the Celtic Daily Prayer, which has become an important text for the Northumbria community because it deals with church without walls and kingdom in the streets. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Psalm 34, verses 1 and 2. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. And two readings from Scripture. First Proverbs chapter 6, verses 6 to 11. Go to the ant, you lazy bones, consider its ways and be wise. Without having any chief or officer or ruler, it prepares its food in summer and gathers its sustenance in harvest. How long will you lie there, O lazy bones? When will you rise from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest. And poverty will come upon you like a robber and want like an armed warrior. And Romans chapter 8, verses 35 to 39. Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Will hardship or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for your sake we are being killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Cuthbert exclaimed, on the night of the passing of Aden's soul into heaven. How wretched we are, given up to sleep and laziness, so that we never see the glory of those who watch with Christ unceasingly. What miraculous things I have seen after so short a vigil. And next the Benedictus. In this prophecy over John the Baptist, we share Zechariah's praise of God for the dawning of the light of salvation, a light which shone in John, who came as a witness to the true light, and a light which in Jesus the darkness cannot overpower. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. A new child shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lord, creator and ruler of the whole world, look mercifully upon us. Give us grace to serve you with all our heart, so that we may come to know the power of your forgiveness and love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. May the peace of God, which passes all understanding, be with us throughout this day and with all those we love. Amen.